What's up my Pungios, Andy with Andy Vlogs. This is the Wave 2 or updated power line adapter kit from the folk at Nexus Link. This is a great way to be able to push the internet to a room that doesn't necessarily have the internet, especially if you're working from home like me where you're doing lots of video calls and you need to have a clean, powered by ethernet, direct connection to the internet. With that said, I reviewed the previous edition. It was great, I'm excited. I think it's a great option here to be able to do that. Before we go into it though, the folks at Nexus Line did provide this to me complimentary and sponsor this video. Please consider down below the links in the description as it does help out the channel. Let's jump into this here, installation, demonstration, all that good stuff. The Powerline Adapter Wave 2 Adapter Kit here is pretty straightforward. A uh, few of my favorite things out of the box is one of the biggest things that I had is that it took up a plug what's nice here is it does allow the pass-through of a plug so if you still want to be able to plug your lamp in you know your other devices here this isn't going to take up the entire plug nonetheless it is a little bit bigger but hence you do have a couple more features here including to be able to stream up to 8k first and foremost you've got the heat sink here you got the lights for the power and the connection and all that good stuff and you also have the output plug here. This is where it plugs into the wall here. On the bottom side, this is where you're going to be attaching whether you're receiving or sending the ethernet here. Very straightforward, guys, super simple. Inside the rest of the box here, it's got these really nice braided cables. You don't need to have an AC adapter. Obviously, you plug it into your plug. Nonetheless, it's very straightforward and gets you that gigabit of ethernet out, which is nice. I'm here on location in my entertainment center. I've got my mesh Wi-Fi here where I've got my ethernet cord coming out that was provided. Simply here, place it into the ethernet port, and now we just need to plug it into a plug. Just simply place it in the plug. It's now gonna still let you have this plug. You're gonna see the lights and the power on. It's locked. It's gonna take a second here for it to uh, get the internet. As you can see now, the internet light is flashing, meaning that we've got uh, internet going through the unit. Now we just need to place it where we want to uh, receive the internet. Alrighty, this is in my kitchen here, right by my dining room table. I'm gonna go ahead now and plug in the wired. It should be receiving the internet once I plug it in and it connects. It'll do take a second here, it'll show power, it'll show lock, and then this middle light here, the second light, should show connected once it's connected through the power line. There it is, we have connection. Coming back over to the original one, you can see that the connected light is also lit up as well. Plug my MacBook in to the dock, and then I have to go ahead and configure it here to take wired. Now we just need to connect it. I've disabled Wi-Fi. Once you plug it in, now we've got wired internet. Showing you on the MacBook here, we've got it wired in, as you can see, it's connected to my dock. Gonna do a speed test now and show you what we're talking about. I have 50 up and down. You can see it's pushing 60. That's actually really good. That's more than what I normally get. Here's upload 39. You can see that's pretty good. We're almost at 50 there. There it is. 63 download, 46 upload. With that said, my ponyos, I think this is an awesome option here. I was getting a good speed test, not only plugged in, but especially for those areas that you need to extend the internet and also have an ethernet adapter. I'm down here in the basement and this is crucial for me to be able to do obviously my work. With that said guys, this is a sponsored video. The folks at Nexus Link did provide this to me complimentary. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing availability guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.